The Labour Party is in the midst of a civil war. With Jeremy Corbyn having won his second leadership election by a landslide, many believe that Labour is too left-wing to be elected into government. In this series, we follow two Labour Party members on opposing sides of the argument. Robin, a dyed-in-the-wool socialist and canvasser, and Penny, a Labour Party advisor and self-confessed Blairite. Both are convinced that their version of Labour is the future. It's July, and Sir John Chilcott has finally delivered his damning verdict on former Prime Minister Tony Blair's decision to commit British troops to the Iraq War in 2003. I accept full responsibility. The report concluded that an imminent threat from weapons of mass destruction was both flawed and exaggerated, with protesters gathering outside Westminster calling for Blair to be tried as a war criminal. Never has being a Blairite been so unpopular. Undeterred, Penny is attempting some damage limitation. Oh, well, I'm, I'm just sort of down here um, doing a small sort of questionnaire for the Labour Party, just trying to work out how angry people actually are. Do you think Tony Blair is sort of fully vindicated or only slightly vindicated no, by this? Aid. Oh, he did. He had a mini break in Amsterdam no, with no, Sherry no, recently. No. Right. Don't you think we should sort of move on and think... No, well, I well, don't. No. I think we should move back. Move back and make absolutely sure that everybody who was involved in this, including people like Bush are absolutely brought yes, to account. Absolutely, yes. So in conclusion, you'd say that you forgive Tony, but you, I don't forgive you, Tony. You, no, I absolutely you, do not say but I don't want so you, you to write anything you about Tony. it because you're not you're not listening to me. Oh no I am you're, absolutely you're projecting your view about Tony. Right. I don't forgive him. I want to see him in chains. They keep saying Blair lied, millions die. Perhaps if they realised it was only five hundred thousand they'd be a bit less angry. Maybe I should go and tell them that. Tony is an incredibly many, sensitive how man. How many houses has he got? Eight, eight or nine, yes. yes. It's not about his houses, it's about the sleep that he's losing. And I'm worried about him, you know. A lot of people here, yeah. actually, they don't give a monkeys about Tony's health. Even the phrase, rot in hell, has been used. OK, uh, you said Penny, was that your Penny, first, that's right, first yeah. name? Yeah. Uh, Penny has attracted the attention of a news crew and is all too happy to give his thoughts on the situation. Yes, yeah, yeah. You, you joined the Labour Party yes, because of Blair. Because of Tony, yeah. Did he let you down? Tony's the first to admit his mistakes. Uh, I think he feels as upset about this as, any, as, as anyone. And considering what happened afterwards, the, yes. the, the hundreds of thousands of people who've died, to look at the Middle East now, yes. isn't there a case that, that, that Mr Blair should be taken to court? Taken to a criminal court. To any well, court. Well, I just, I think, you know, this has already taken taken the best part of seven years. It's punishment enough, you know. He did have to do six or seven interviews as part of this inquiry, which were gruelling. Thank you very yes. much. Okay, Cheers. thanks very much. Thanks. Well, I'm just, I'm just putting them down here. No, just, I'm just putting them... Let's put you down. I'm just, well, I'm just, put, I'm just leaving them on the floor. No, pick them up. Pick them up. Yes. Well, I pick them up. I think they're better on the floor. No, they're not. You're I think the they're better on the floor. I'll tell you that. You're a wanker. 